Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning, Panning and Beyond. Okay, so we are back at with a, another empties and exits video, but I'm actually going to combine it um, with my, um, I'm going to call them my entries empties and exits video so because I've got a um, with only doing two videos a week on, on average um, I've got a fair bit sort of planned for the next um, month um, you would have by the time this one goes up you'll already seen my um, intro to my palette um, bingo so um, I'm going to try and get through this as quick as possible my last empties and exits video I honestly like thought I was not going to have much to go through for my um, next one and um, there is a fair bit here so I'm not going to be doing thorough reviews or you know uh, famous last words but um, I, I just need to uh, get into it so the first thing I wanted to um, go through was the entries and I guess that sort of um, with that I should be including um, my what I spent my budget on um, so yeah a lot to get through in in this video so I'll start with where what I spent my budget on and just a recap um, because of you know I'm not going to go into the whole thing um, if you wanted to look I'll link my my first one from January um, somewhere it'd be this side yeah I'm thinking about um, inserting photos but I will um, insert um, in the cards uh, like a link to my first um, empties and exits video but basically I went over uh, my budget by $12.27 so I'm, I'm looking over at my um, laptop for my spreadsheet um, so with February with only four weeks in uh, falling in that month I um, with the um, overspend from the month before I actually only started with $67.73 to spend I went almost the entire month only with only the one purchase um, and those ones were uh, I went into our Priceline pharmacy and I, I'll insert photos of these I'll hold them up but I'm not sure how clear it's going to be because my lighting is uh, terrible uh, I, I keep trying to adjust um, my ring light and get the settings right and yeah I just can't seem to quite get there and I know my camera is quite old but you know uh, you're not here for my my um, beauty looks my makeup and, and stuff so hopefully we can just work with what we've got and uh, it'll be okay but uh, yeah so it's the um, Rimmel London Lash Accelerator um, I didn't have um, any serum for my eyelashes or eyebrows and um, I was talking to my friend Siobhan um, I think it was sometime in January about this and I had finished um, up a product that is kind of meant to be like a you know lash con and conditioner um, but uh, it just wasn't doing anything I don't even know if it's it's actually supposed to help with the growth just you know conditioning the lashes that you've um, got but uh, basically this went on um, sale it was a 50% off so it's like getting a, a two for one I was not comfortable using um, the same tube on my eyelashes as my eyebrows and um, look, I can't afford to get regular tinting done uh, god forbid if I actually went to try and get um, tattooing done on my eyebrows my niece just got that done I'm not even going to say how much um, money she spent on on that so I thought I'd give these a go and um, yeah I'll hold them up once again so I've marked one for my brows which you probably won't be able to see but just up on the label here put my brows on my lashes so I don't um, mix those ones up so far like I bought that on the 4th of um, Feb and so far honestly I'm not really seeing any um, benefit but there have there has been a another Instagrammer that um, basically said it, it takes a minute for it to work and just stick with it try and put on um, you know a, a fair dose of it um, I, I I get that with with the brows with the lashes I it gets in your eyes if you put um, too much on so uh, but I'm gonna just stick with it until the tubes empty and I'll reassess but if anybody watching has um, used a serum that they found has worked I mean I did look at the reviews of this I don't know whether they're uh, you know not true you know people 
uh, talk stuff up or you know I, I don't know I don't always trust reviews I mean prefer to go off um, people that um, I actually know in person that have, have tried it and I trust you guys so you guys have got no reason to lie to me um, obviously I, you, know, you don't know how trustworthy reviews are on um, websites but um, yeah so if anyone's tried a serum um, and they find that it works really well then um, please let me know so um, so that was um, those and then I got right through until the 26th of, of February and um, I ended up uh, the story behind this one is that I had a um, back order placed um, late last year for um, this particular brush and it's the real um, real techniques the powder as it blur or blue powder blur you know that it's a BLEU no, so I guess it's the French for blue um, yeah forgive my pronunciation um, but yeah so this I had that on on back order and um, I didn't think about that when you know it was pre pre no by year and it um, I didn't think about it when I actually you know um, did my no by rules to make it an exception it wasn't on my mind at the time and um, it wasn't meant to actually come out of my uh, budget but as it happens um, I was uh, reading a post again from um, my friend Siobhan that she'd mentioned because she loves um, these particular brushes and she couldn't locate them anywhere and honestly every time I've tried to get hold of this brush um, it was always sold out um, I've even pre-ordered it and it took forever to come in I ended up cancelling pre-orders um, it was yeah so I mean look they're just they were selling out all the time and she um, tried to um, buy some backups and it um, she believed that it had been discontinued she couldn't locate it anywhere and I was just like oh okay so that's why you know it's February I still haven't heard back from Priceline about it coming in and I had actually been in a couple of times to chase it up and they were just like yeah, yeah we haven't heard from them yet and and whatever um, so only certain stores used to carry it as it was and the store that I ordered in from they didn't normally range it but you know they said uh, that they should have been able to get it for me so anyway um, I decided that I was going to cancel that back order with them I'd had enough of waiting and um, I found one on another um, pharmacy website and decided to go ahead and purchase it seeing as it was a back order from um, my pre pre no buy um, but because I hadn't actually paid for it yet um, when I did the back order I decided that I was going to even though it wasn't originally meant to come out of my no buy budget um, I decided to take it out of my budget anyway it just I guess it made me feel better um, and that was that came to $25.90 so all up I only have $18.49 to carry over to March and uh, so that's um, which is basically today's the 29th of February so um, I um, as of tomorrow have $98.49 in my budget so they were the two things that I purchased with my budget for the month um, now the other three things that um, came into my collection um, again I, I did do a look um, with the so jaded palette from Colourpop which I mentioned there was a story behind that one so um, I actually so that's the the palette there I've only used it the once um, and I will just show you the other two palettes that I got and then I'll explain the story um, behind that one so I got the um, frozen one I only got oops, sorry dropping the um, little plastic sleeve in there so I got that one and um, so it was the Anna one I think it was Elsa's the other one um, and then I got this one it's the the all it's all good um, palette and show you the inside catch that sleeve absolutely beautiful I haven't used this one yet either so and I don't think I'll be getting to those um, anytime soon but basically the story behind those palettes were um, I got them for Valentine's Day from my husband um, but they were and he took advantage like he knew you know I have a wish list 
and um, everyone in the family knows, as I think I've mentioned before, that it's not hard to buy for me. Uh, it's really a no-brainer. Uh, it's the only way I can get new makeup is um, through gifts um, and um, yeah, so he basically decided to um, pick something for Mother's Day. Um, I mentioned that there was a Colourpop sale on so he had ordered that with full intention of putting those away for Mother's Day and uh, for Valentine's Day he had um, you know I he'd asked me what I wanted and uh, I did pick um, a, the Tarte the Spicy Vetch palette um, which I think would have been perfect for Valentine's Day with the colours um, in it um, however um, it didn't arrive so in time it has arrived since and has been um, checked and packed away for Mother's Day but um, because he had the uh, the Colourpop ones there he decided to do a, a swap and I, and that's the ones that I've got for Valentine's Day so um, so those are the only uh, new things in my collection and um, yeah I think the what I'll do next I've got a stack of empties and obviously I've probably already wasted heaps of time already talking about um, my budget and the new things that I've gotten um, so I'm just going to quickly um, I'm going to have to insert some photos um, I've got a reminder here it was just an empty um, Colourpop palette there is nothing in there but I put it as a prompt because I made up a I went through as part of my cataloging that I um, got all my Colourpop singles and uh, even ones with the you know the the, the pre uh, curated um, BYOP ones. Um, I there's quite a few duplicates between those and uh, and and some of the singles that I had ordered separately. And so basically, I I pulled out all my duplicates and I made a palette up um, and I gave it to my daughter. So I have uh, just a few um, duplicates left, which I've got in. I won't dig it out um, now, but I've got a couple uh, of still left but basically they have a big adept palette um with all my ColourPop singles they all fit into that now so um so i pass that on to my daughter and what i'll do is now i can go go like this so i'll insert photos um of the other things that i um decluttered and gave to my daughter already um uh, but the other thing i haven't given to her yet which i haven't checked with her if, if she doesn't want it um, I have um, Kaylee, who you've met in a previous video, the little shy um, girl that hung at the door, it's, uh, dating my stepson Connor. Uh, so yeah, I've got um, this uh, ColourPop highlighter called to Total Package. Um, I have an, another one of these already that I got in a um, it was a palette of. Of six so yeah discovered that I had a duplicate so that's something that I'm going to um, pass on and this other it's another Colourpop product it's the amber lip balm the crystal one still heaps of, of product left in there but for some reason like I already got rid of the the, um, the pink one that I had a while it was just went like a white weird sort of textured um, yeah, balm on my lips and I really didn't like it but this particular um, the amber one I really wanted to love it but I just the color just there's something about it it just did not look good on me so I've decided I'm going to declutter that one whether or not somebody's going to want it I don't know but um, if I can pass it along I will so um, that's it for the declutters and like, hopefully I don't forget I will um, pop in a photo of the Colourpop palette that I gave to my daughter. The other thing I uh, gave her um, was um, a chrome, a tart chrome um, paint pot um, in, I think it's Frosé is the, the colour name and uh, I've already got the uh, full size of that and the, the small pot I got as part of a set so I decided to give that to my um, daughter because it will take me probably my whole lifetime to get through the full size of that one and there was a ladder lips um, I did mention um, in a previous video about the fact that I have really sensitive lips um, and I never used to be sensitive to anything um, but I don't know why I've developed developed a sensitivity but um, lanolin um, was I think a major culprit and um, I had um, mentioned that I had bought a an SPF lip balm and then discovered that I already had one which was a lanolips one which I'd, I'd 
popped in I thought it was a lip gloss to look at didn't realize it actually had SPF in it and uh, I did get around to testing it and I reacted to it um, the very first time that I used it my daughter is not sensitive um, to the Lanolips products so that was given to her as well and um, I have a photo of that so I'll, I'll insert all of those um, so sorry if I'm you know talking too fast uh, but I said I, I need to um, try and get through these and I think uh, some of you may have realized um, as you get further and further into my videos that my camera if I record too long actually splits it into two separate files so you'll see like this little bit of a, a blip in my recordings and you know I, I guess sometimes I feel a bit pressured to hurry up and uh, so I don't have to deal with multiple files um, but you know it is what it is so we'll see see what happens I'm just gonna move my laptop out of the way <laughs> Okay, so not knowing whether this is going to be easy to show or not. So this basket is full of nail polishes um, and I've slowly been um, going through them. I'm not going to show you each individual one, but I will count them. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, 22. So there's 24 nail polishes all up that I've decided to declutter. I had just went through every couple of days. What I did was put one one color on each nail. So every time I went through 10 nail polishes, um, I've still got um, a stand behind me, which is probably roughly 70 nail polishes still in there yes I do, I do not get my um, nails done professionally um, so it's one luxury I, I did it once when I was at uh, work I was constantly having problems my hands were always in water and um, I tried to get um, false nails done in hope that it would strengthen my nails and, and they just used to lift off all the time so uh, I just thought it was a waste of money to keep doing that um, so I stopped but um, and I have so many nail polishes there so I really need to use them um, so it would kind of be pointless so yeah I, um, I will try to um, see if anyone wants them maybe my sister or my niece otherwise just about everyone else I know do like they they get their nails done professionally my daughter has her own UV um, light kit at home and she does gel nails herself so um, they won't be going to her so I still have to catalog all those before I decide to pass them along um, so okay finally making it to the empties and like I said I'll try and rip through these um, as quick as I can um, so uh, one thing I've got here is uh, it's just a, a cheap one from the supermarket an exfoliating pad um, even though I, I sort of I used to let it dry out in between uses I noticed it was getting quite dark at the top there and if you can see that or not but it looks like it's started to get mold um, growing in it so the idea of, of using that on my skin with with mold in there was just like yeah that's not going to happen um, so I luckily I've got one of those like um, you know more like a the puff that you, you use uh, I've had them in the past and I find they come apart really easy so hoping that that one will last I was using this with my uh, Sol de Janeiro uh, the, the Boom Boom um, shower gel cream gel cream gel uh, you know what I mean um, and I found that to get any sort of lather with with this particular pad like I was going through the shower gel really quickly but since I've gone over to the puff um, I, I'm only using maybe a third of the amount and, and getting a really nice lather up uh, so I've probably wasted um, a lot of that shower gel um, it, it's almost gone so um, I have to bear that in mind when I look how many uh, like how long it lasted when I, I look at my spreadsheet once it's finished um, so maybe it will be more cost effective um, than what I first thought um, it'll still be expensive but you know it will last me longer than and initially it, it did because of, of using that so anyway chuck that one away um, I have a uh, Mark Anthony is just an, again a supermarket one. It was about seventeen dollars. Remember, this is these are Australian. Um, 
nothing fabulous really it's meant to strengthen your hair um, my sister really liked it she put me onto it but you know my hair is just so frizzy all the time and dry I don't ever use um, I, like I don't blow dry it always let naturally dry I don't straighten it I don't color it uh, and it's always frizzy it just drives me nuts so um, I'm you know trying to uh, get onto some um, better products and I did have um, Rachel um, if you're watching Rachel she just said to me today um, on Instagram she doesn't watch YouTube anymore so if you do happen to watch this um, video uh, she had put me onto a hair mask from is it Briogeo or you I think I don't know how to pronounce it but yeah it's sold out everywhere so um, she recommended that one um, to try for the ends of my hair so we'll see how we go whether I can um, source that one I have one um, conditioning product which sort of doubles up as a hair mask um, left in my collection uh, I think that's the last as far as conditioners go but um, I will double check that obviously before I um, decide to buy something else. So then we've got this super duper expensive um, face mask. I think when I uh, looked it up it was $36 for one mask which is just utterly ridiculous. Um, it was super loaded up um, with product and it slid off my face all the time and yeah, I really don't rate it. Um, I mean some people love it uh, there's no way I would pay $36 for a face mask I'm tight enough that even $5 for me um, is expensive uh, and I don't tend to mask a lot unless I'm prompted by a by a challenge <laughs> generally which is really sad um, but yeah really don't think that that was um, anything flash and I got that for free from Mecca as a uh, membership um, sort of perk so yeah I, I'm not that crazy um, now what else have I got here the Mac prep and prime so this this bottle is empty but what I ended up doing because the the top of it um, it's it's broken around here and uh, I couldn't travel with it or anything um, or it would spill so if I can get this one out I ended up um, tipping it into the last of my Colourpop um, amber crystal setting spray so that's a bit of a mix of of that in there and uh that's uh yeah so that's going into the empties um what else have we got here still a few things so this is just makeup wipe um makeup remover wipes that are just cheap ones from the supermarket finish those off generally just use them for like cleaning off makeup and stuff off the back of of my hand um, when I'm doing my makeup so I already have a, uh, a backup of that one so this is the uh, Tarte opening act so this is the lash primer this is the one that I was saying had um, like a conditioning product in that but you know I didn't find that my lashes were any healthier or or longer or anything after using it um, didn't particularly like this um, right from the get-go but obviously I, I used it used it all up and I do have some other lash primers um, so I'm using that and uh, the one I've got that I've rolled in uh, it's the uh, L'Oreal um, voluminous um, lash primer um, actually really really like this one so um, I dare say I will never ever repurchase the Tarte one uh, okay still got heaps here try and get through these as quick as possible that's going to be last I have the Laneige, Laneige, Laneige. I'm not sure it's a Korean brand you're just gonna have to forgive me because I don't know how to pronounce half of these and uh, you, I think you can tell I'm still looking I, I need glasses um, so yeah I've, this is just a little sample pot that I got from Sephora I think maybe yeah just a, a free one that I um, yeah it was a promo they had and I got to that in I wasn't sure whether or not this was irritating my lips as, as well but once I got them um, healed up and they hadn't been irritated and this was the only thing that I used and I used this during the day not just at night and I had no reaction to that so uh, that's good and it felt really really nice on my lips and I might buy another one again one day we'll, we'll see um, 
how we go. So I've got a few to get through still. So um, naturally serious major moisture gentle cream cleanser. Uh, this is another one I dare say has come from Sephora and I actually really did like this. It, it felt really nice on my skin and my skin was in really good condition um, when I was when I was using it. So it, this actually is a contender for, to be repurchased when I no longer um, have any cleansers left. Uh, so then we've got the, I think it's, is it Dermalogica? Um, it's the Clear Start Breakout Clearing Booster. I got this um, from Mecca Land when I went. So um, that's it's just a beauty expo for anyone who doesn't know what it is from overseas. I uh, went there last year um, with my daughter um, as part of, uh, like I'd, I'd, I'd already planned to go and then my daughter as a surprise with my husband um, decided to um, get me accommodation um, and my daughter and I stayed overnight in Sydney and then um, went to uh, Mecca Land the next day, yes, yeah, so that was a really, really nice Mother's Day uh, present actually cried when they told me so it, it was it was so sweet so um, but back to the product um, yeah I didn't find it really helped um, with any sort of breakouts at, at all it was but I finished it um, so then I've got the MAC strobe cream I thought this was like a highlighting cream when I first got it again another sample not sure we can focus in on that one that's things you can see that now um yeah so it turns out it's a moisturizer um so i used it up and it did what it said it definitely gives a glow um to your skin i think it'd be a nice sort of product um if you wanted that um glow without putting makeup over the top of it um i won't really be repurchasing it had a really weird smell um to it but um i don't know whether that was just because the sample was a bit bit old but yeah so that's another one gone uh, I've got a whole heap of little pots here which I'm just going to quickly run through uh, probably uh, I've already have mentioned some of these already before so it's the Dr. Dennis Gross the retinol and for, is it ferulic acid um, or ferulic eye cream uh, just these are little sample pots I've been gotten from Mecca um, you know it wasn't over, I didn't feel like it was overly um, strong and I, I have mentioned that I've been using um, the Verso one which was I felt like it was drying my eyes out and irritating them uh, so it was probably starting a new tube it was doing what it was supposed to do and I've backed off and slowly started building back up to using it on a nightly basis uh, I'm still not um, finding that my eyes I still feel quite dehydrated around them but um, they're not irritated anymore um, so that one, I've got the, the Tarcha, the Silk Peony eye cream, <sighs> expensive product and, you know, it did feel nice going on, but I don't know that it did anything fabulous. Um, don't, in my opinion, I don't think I would, I would repurchase it. I don't think that it, it did enough for me to warrant um, the expense, um, but, uh, you know, everyone's different has different needs with their skin uh, another Dana, Dr. Dennis Gro um, Gross it's the Hyaluronic Marine Eye Gel this is the one that I absolutely loved when I was using it I felt like around my eyes um, were really hydrated I found the lines were quite reduced around my eyes so that is definitely something I'd be looking to repurchase um, for my daytime eye cream um, I've got the Drunk Elephant Lip Balm uh, another little sample uh, it was okay it felt nice on the lips but don't felt like it was overly um, hydrating so I definitely think that there's cheaper and a better performing um, lip balms out there uh, then we've got Ole I think if this is how you pronounce it Ole Henriksen the, the fat glow uh, I've got a little sample pot of that from um, from Sephora and it was nice but again it's a very expensive um, mask so we'll see I don't know um, it was nice to try it I think it was a bit of a novelty uh, you know Desi Perkins raved about it and promoted it and I think that's what sucked me in to want to um, try it I'm not a big masker so um, yeah I don't know that I would 
fork out the money, especially when I'm on a budget. I just think there's better things that I can uh, put my money towards. Uh, I did have a Charlotte Tilbury primer. You can't tell from the packaging because it got ripped off the card um, that it was on. Um, again, can't say that I thought it performed any better than anything else. So all these luxury brands and yeah, I don't think that it was that great. Um, same goes for the, um, it's the Multi Miracle Glow. It's a cleanser, mask and balm all in one. Um, I found it, I don't know, had a, a quite a strong scent to it, but I didn't notice it most of the time. But then the last time I used it, I don't know whether it was something else I was smelling. Um, but yeah, as far as a balm is concerned, yeah, it's got like a florally scent to it. But yeah, I, again, I, I don't rate it. Um, I think there's better, cheaper balms out there um okay we've got marlin and goats again a, a detox face mask it was okay moving on uh, prep and glow new face there's like a little uh, cleansing towel uh, had like a side that exfoliated um uh, i won't be repurchasing so i'm trying to just get through these ones uh right what else we've got peter thomas roth we have the 24k gold mask uh i haven't looked the price up i'm assuming that it would be quite expensive it was just like one that you sort of painted on your face and a novelty have a gold mask on your face but again i won't be um buying that sorry you can see i'm very disorganized here I just got so many little sample sachets that i just want to pump um, pump through um, bare minerals prime time again another primer another sample sachet i think i've got uh i've got one more sachet and i've got a small tub of a, like a little sample pot of another primer before i get into my full size product so really excited to be getting through these and again it was a nice product but sorry i don't know not showing it very well um but yeah i don't know I, I won't be buying another one, another primer, so the Napoleon Purtis one. Um, I'm not very um, particular. I know that they always say if you've got a silicon-based um, foundation, you should be uh, using a silicon-based primer. I don't find that always has to be the case. Um, I sort of just put on whatever I'm using at the time, and if it pills, I know they don't work together but quite often I've had water-based primers with silicon based foundations and they've worked absolutely fine so um, yeah but I'm not even considering buying another primer anytime soon so uh, I'll worry about that when the time comes but I think I've mentioned before I'll probably stick to like a, a green one um, unless I can get myself a good green color corrector only because I have a fair bit of um, redness um, in on my skin so um, I have my I really like the hourglass veil primer another expensive one so we'll see whether or not I um, what I purchase when I gets to it um, what else have we got here deep cleansing mask um, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this one I'll hold it up so that oh my battery is getting really low I'm gonna have to flick um, the power on which will give me the that humming sound in the background if I don't hurry up so if it goes flat I'll you know if you lose me I'll flick the power on and um, we'll get there but anyway so if anyone can see if you can see the brand there I thought it felt like it was gonna go it went on like a clay mask and it was gonna dry down and go really hard but it didn't quite like it but very expensive so needless to say I won't be buying that one I have my beautiful boom boom cream tiny little one from Mechaland little sample I've got another one of is it the Coco Cabana um, scent I've got a same size little sample of that to get through but at the moment I'm using the the small tub that I've got of this and um, loving it I've got a volumizing shampoo it really made my hair frizzy it it's uh, it it gave me volume um, but yeah something that um, if I was to use it which I, I won't buy it again but I obviously I'd have to probably put an oil or something in my hair to calm it um, the touch kisu lip mask that was it was a nice um, 
nice enough lip, lip mask but too expensive won't be rebuying that or won't be buying that that was a sample smashbox under eye primer now this is definitely one that when i get through the per um, cosmetics one um i think pretty sure that that's the under eye primer that i'm going to buy and i had the bobby brown um vitamin e moisturizer um, I got a sample of this. Everyone reckons that, you know, it's great if you use that. You don't need to use a, a primer. If it's great for your skin, that is. Um, it's too heavy for my skin. I'm quite um, oily in my T-zone and I was pre-warned. I wanted to try it just for the sake of it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it, it wasn't suitable for my skin. So um, I won't be buying that one. So I'm down to my last one. I'm keeping an eye on that battery. Hopefully it holds out on me. So this is the exciting one. I finally got through my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This thing just lasted absolutely forever. Um, and yeah, so it's finally done. Um, I used it up while I was away um, at my uncle's. Um, so that was um, good to see that gone. And I ended up rolling in um, this Ordinary um, Serum Foundation. I do not know. It's supposed to be um, pink. Uh, pink based it's the 2.0 P um, and I'm telling you now I, I cannot see the pink in it it um, I actually have if I have to go between a yellow and a pink I generally go um, for a pink base um, in foundations but um, I'm told my skin tone is actually more of like a peach uh, so uh, but it actually goes it, like it dries down fine on my skin um, feels really nice very watery formula and uh, so runny when you when it comes out so I have to be careful when I, I do pump it out I only need a small pump and it spreads quite well uh, it makes my skin feel very hydrated after I've used it um, I'm actually quite impressed and and to be honest I'm not missing my NARS sheer glow at all so um, I don't know when it comes time to it it'll if, if they were on par in um, in as much as how I like them, then um, I'd probably go with the Ordinary again, but I've got quite a few foundations to get through um, yet, so I've got some more expensive ones, and uh, yeah, I'll, again, don't have to make that decision um, anytime soon. So that's it for all my entries, empties, and exits for February what I've spent my budget on so I'm um, hoping that you guys all manage to bear with me and that this hasn't cut into too se many separate files and you know said it's unusual that my battery is about to go flat so thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video bye